I just got red the right act. It wasn't bad enough that I got read the right act by Yvonne because some bitch ass, you know what, said the you know what word before me. And they got me kicked off stage because they weren't even listening to my joke. Oh no, there's a white woman saying she's glad those seven year old Nigerian boys grew up because she loves them big black cocks. Oh well. Nobody can take a joke, especially from a white woman, because you're all a bunch of fucking women. You can't help it, you're dumb. You can't split atoms in your own wounds, you're so dumb. You can only squirt them out with your pussies, your golden clitorises. You don't even see who you are. You don't even see what you mean. You're empty, shallow, and you all need your personality disorders because having narcissism is bad, being histrionic is bad, being psychotic is bad, and borderline's even worse. Because they never get it through them heads that they say. They say for what they cause other people. At least mine's dumb brain damage caused by one brain, dumb brain tumor that was so lonely it had to cause another one. I'm so dumb, I'm splitting atoms in my head. I have to laugh because I was made, I was made, I was made. I was made enough to go into the psych ward and get my rights taken back. Cause they were doing illegal clinical trials on me in the nut ward. Can you believe that? They lock you up like you're a prisoner and give you snacks. So it's not like jail. Jail was bad. Those dumb Burbank boys, blue, Burbank boys and blue, they dumb fucks. I called them up, my name's Catherine Clay. I'm coming to see my son. They said, call us when you get here so we can arrest you because you're a dumb fucking bitch who doesn't understand you have served an EPO and you need to stay away from your own son who you have custody of. Oh well. It just made me want to be president even more so I could get rid of all these dumb fucking shit like jail. Somebody had a bench warrant nine years ago because they just skipped out of town. Oh well, they had something else better to do than to go to court and see some dumb fucking judge who was gonna tell them they had to go to jail. For no reason. Because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. I know my daddy's an interstate drug trafficker who tried to take the side the wrong side of the law by taking Brianna just Brianna Taylor's people to see that there were not a bunch of racists putting 32 bullets in her and I don't understand why we're not using pepper bullets because we should not be criminals in order to fight crime it's dumb we're a dumb society we're not egalitarian because you keep raping us instead of getting that shit worked out in a dungeon with professionals treating sex workers like they're the goddesses that they are because they're taking care of your carnal desires when your wife is too tired too or just can't do what you're asking of her or you're too embarrassed to ask what to do to her. You have to think of what Hitler had to go through as a child because of the way he treated Eva Braun. He used to shit on her. That's why he wanted all those pedophiles dead on the side of his Jewish family. Too bad he had to leave two pedophiles behind. Mark Zuckerberg and Jeffrey Epstein. The two Jews he was looking for trying to stop him. Because there is one thing I have never seen out of Nazi Germany, and that's child pornography. Except for what they did to the little Jewish kids. 
and I live with that in my soul. Them little Geminis. I'm a Gemini. I love being a Gemini. I love my stinky pussy self and born on Marilyn Monroe's birthday. I've got two books about one woman having 20 different kinds of orgasms. 20 different kinds. Can you imagine having 20 different kinds of orgasms? I want that Vladimir Putin dead yesterday because I've been in them villages that he's destroying and it makes me mad. Makes me mad. Oh look, there's a hard clit and not a hard clit. That's one of my favorite pictures because it's in black and white and shows you in black and white what a woman should look like when she is turned on. When she is ready to be popped. Once you, you can't stop. You dumb woman, you can't stay with one fucking woman. You gotta go find out what the other ones are like. And when you find out they're no different, just a little bit crazier, just a little bit better in bed, there you go. Oh no, she's skinny. Oh no, you can't kill dumb. You can't get rid of histrionic bad personality disorder. You can't get enough help. I know. They thought I was histrionic and crazy until I had my first brain surgery. I mean, my third brain surgery. I can't keep up with them at this point. There's been so many. My husband fucked the shunt out of my spine. He fucked the shunt out of my spine right after I had it put in. That's how dumb he was. Almost killed me five times. And I count being on an eight ball of fentanyl for two years as one crime. One crime and I never called the cops on him even after he was raping me. And those dumb fucking parents of his, I said hi daddy. And he had me arrested and put in jail and those assholes sent me to Linwood and wouldn't give me my medication. Then did an illegal clinical trial like those dumb fucks that kept me in the nut ward. They're going down, they're going down, they're going down. They just don't see it yet. Like that dumb fucking neurosurgeon that left a rotting septic tube in my gut. It was like that baby I had stuck in my gut for three years, three months, three weeks. Only worse, because it was seven years of bad luck, and I lost my son because I couldn't move around, because that dumb fuck ruined my life. Ruined my life. Two years of that crazy septic shit was with my dead husband, who killed himself because who wants to deal with a rotten septic shun? Certainly not my son. Oh no, that's the end of that. I can't take it anymore. I'm only 16 and this is too much. Oh well, your father caused half of it. He's got Munchausen's by proxy. He couldn't help it, his mother gave it to him. Gave it to him when he was sitting in the hospital with asthma. Oh well, I'm not going for five minutes. It's been 10. I got to figure out what I'm going to say and how I'm going to say it. You're not men of science. You're dumb. You're dumb. You're a bunch of dumb women and you don't even see it. You can't see it. You can't see how dumb you are. You're so dumb. You can't see how your penis is a glitterous and your balls are the vagina. <laughs> And you can't see that Jesus, there's a second coming, all right, because he's going to be on Mars. All we need is that little drop of blood that my Armenians have. From that piece of metal that stabbed him, oh, he's going to be a crusty old man. 
he's gonna be Rip Van Winkle. We're gonna have to put him in the Jerusalem all as his own before we introduce him to the plan. <laughs> He's going to be like, I remember looking at that when I was a slave. When I was a slave. And I had to do that. The Egyptians biddings. And then them dumb Romans came and took me. Romans had to beat its own Bible. Verse. Nobody respects the Bible. Nobody reads the Bible for its truth. Like there being 700 days once upon a time. It's definitely something those slaves knew by counting the stars. And Elon Musk isn't doing everything he can to do E equals MC squared. It took an autistic woman with two dumb brain tumors to get you guys to figure out how to move the goddamn planet with a bunch of Elon Musk rocket skits. Instead of going to Mars first, we need to move this rock. We need to make sure there's some kind of life on it before we kill all them humpback whales that I love to see coming out of the water. It makes me sad to think of them dying. It makes me sad to think that Mitsubishi can't keep their dicks out of the ocean, and neither can you with your starkest tuna. Your Charlie tuna. Your fucking sushi that is full of microplastics that you're gonna need when you're an AI. Because <laughs> we use plastic as blood. <laughs> We've got to. It's got all the nutrients we need because we're all plastic. Oh well, there goes a the plastic joint. It done wore out. What am I gonna do? Get another joint. Gotta grow it in a fucking petri dish. Just like we grew Jesus. Just like we're putting all them Mars people, all them men on pedestals so they can satiate our carnal desires. Because look at how you fucked up the world when you took away the matriarchy. For millennia, you decided to pull us as slaves. Cattle, have your children fuck your life up. You don't get to have a life because you're a dumb woman. Oh well, you're a dumb woman too. Takes one to know one. Look at that. Even if you're black, even if you're white, even if you're a chink, he needs to get his dick out of the ocean because he's killing it. Can't wait to see all these Brad Pitts and definitely not Tom Cruise, George Clooney. Can't wait to see them on submarines letting go and rebuilding these coral reefs that them chinks are stolen by taking away them coral reefs and just leaving them in the sea like they was trash. Like killing them dolphins and not using them as meat. Or maybe they do use them as meat. I wouldn't know. I'm not that vapid and narcissistic. I quit eating tuna fish, which was the hardest thing for me to give up in the world. Not as hard as ice cream, but I gave up ice cream for that Johnny Depp and that Evan Rachel Wood. I'll never eat it again. Till he says, you can have some ice cream. It's okay, girl. You've been eating Frogo long enough and look how skinny you done got. Yeah, but I need that mommy makeover, Johnny Depp. Try not to mention your name when I get up and say something in stand-up comedy because Oh no, she's obsessed with that thing. Yes, she is. But she's finding a new one who's also a deadhead and who's willing to take care of her more than Johnny Depp. I had this awful feeling the other day they all came in and started to take my things away and I just sat there like a crazy person watching it all go.
Thank God I had a roommate who said he wanted to be my roommate. I felt like crying when I got that text this morning. Especially because he's autistic and has been used by so many people that I have not used him. And he likes that. It's amazing what an autistic person has to go through in order to just get through life. Oh no, she said the N-word. Some bitch ass N-word said it before me. I did not ask for that treatment. And look what I got.